Hi guys, yes, this is my project that I did over the weekend. These are going to be the supplies that you're going to need in order to accomplish this look. First, we're going to start by using the cardboard and drawing out our shape. I'm just bending the cardboard so I could st um, know where I want to start and know where I want to stop. And I'm just tracing, you know, lightly over it and trying to get a shape that I want. Bam, there's the shape that I want. Now I'm gonna just cut it out with the razor. And I'm taking my time on cutting this. One, because I want it to be very neat. And two, is because I'm gonna use it as a template for the other side. Um, so I could just flip it over and I'll get the exact same measurement, the exact same shape. So that's why I'm using it as a template. Um, so I'm just going to lightly do the pencil again and go in, cut it out, um, take my time, cut it out like I did the first one so I could end up with a nice shape um, and something like this right here. So we're going to use the next cardboard, put it, double it up. So for the strength, we're going to do the same thing again as in cutting. Now I'm going to use my tape in order to tape it. Now this is not ordinary tape guys. This is the tape that they use um, for the AC vents and stuff. So it's very strong, very sturdy. Yes. So I'm just going to tape down my two sides because you can see my board is not even. And even if it was even, I still would have taped it down or glue it down. I'm still going to make sure, reinforce this. But I'm using the tape. It's going to hold it in place for what I need. And then now I'm going to cut out my batten. Um, first of all, I'm going to use three layers on this. So I'm going to do the first two layers are going to be very close. Like you see right now, close to the cardboard. And the, um, the third layer, the third layer one, I'm going to go like a, at least an inch away from the cardboard. And I'll show you guys in um, a clip coming up right soon. Um, so I'm just going to cut this one out to give me that nice perfect fitted shape for now. It's going to be two of these that's going to be nice and fitted. And the third one is going to be the overlay one. You're going to see why you're going to have to make sure that it's like an inch and a half like that. You want to do an inch and a half or two inches just to be you know, on the safe side. You're going to see why we're going to do that. So I'm just cutting it out. Okay, now that I'm finished cutting it out, I'm finding the center of my headboard. By me finding the center, now I am um, going to do 11 inches apart from each of them. And once I do 11 inches apart from them, you saw the diamond cut shape that I had on the headboard earlier. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Um, so now I'm just circling it so you could see it more clearly what I was doing see you see the v-shape coming in you see that yeah and we're just connecting the dots so now i'm just going to glue it down like i said before i was going to glue all the layers down before i start putting the bottom on it or anything so it's going to be nice and strong and heavy duty this headboard was nice and strong but it was not heavy it was it was just right so now these are the first layer um I use up all the batten that I had so I even used these two pieces but I had to put it together now I'm gonna use the staple and just staple it you don't have to staple it close on this one guys you could staple it far apart because remember now you have two more layers that you have to put on top of this layer right here so this is only the first layer and then we'll be getting to the second layer in a minute and you'll see when it comes to the third layer what's gonna happen then then you want to make sure that you um, are stapling close together. So this is the second layer and I'm just going to do the same thing again. Just staple it going around. Third layer, now this is the layer here that you want to make sure that you um, have close together with the staples. And I'm going to show you a couple little tricks. and. Yeah, a couple little tricks. When 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 it when it gets to that, I'll show you it. So we just stapling, stapling around. <clears throat> 
Oh, and yeah, so with that one right there, guys, I like to have a nice smooth finish edge. So what I do is just cut it off. So when I wrap it, I'm trying to wrap this like if I'm wrapping a Christmas present. You want to have that nice and neat. So when you go to this curve right here, right here, you see? Okay, when I um, went to do it, when I went to um, staple it, I saw like it was giving me a little tension. So all I did was take this and this and cut it. You don't want to cut it too far. This You want to feel exactly how far you need to go. And just take your time and you just staple. And you just staple, girl. You're going to see how it's going to turn out in a minute, girl. This project was cool. This was a nice project that I did this weekend. But yeah, you want to just continue on stapling, going around, and getting all the staples in. Yes, guys. So, I'm just going to continue on stapling around. And then when it comes to the, um, the other part, I'm just going to start talking. I'm not going to talk all the way through it. Only when I need to, to explain something to you guys. So, I'm just showing you the clean finish cut of it of how it looked and how it was so important to make sure I cut those edges look how nice that was you see why leaving it an inch inch and a half was important to achieve this look right here so the next step is uh, we're going to tape around we're going to tape around where we had staple it just um for security and um, for when I put down the glue, because like I told you, this was my first time doing this project, so I did not know if um, the glue would have came up off of, of the um, button, but apparently it didn't, but I, I wanted to be on the safe side. So now this is my next material. Oh, I'm just showing you that <laughs> the glue is down. So this is my next material. I use a teal, and now I'm using a... I guess a mint green so this is where my glue gun is coming in I'm gonna glue it down and as I glue because I'm um, trying to do this for a video as I glue I'm not letting it dry I'm gonna staple it at the same time like you know so the staples would just keep it in place so when it does dry it wouldn't move <coughs> you understand what I'm saying okay yes guys we're still going to just be stapling and gluing all the way around. Yeah, and you want to make sure that you're pulling taut as you go. Once, because you already have the glue and the staple on it. So that's, that part is going to stay in. So you want to make sure that the other side is nice and smooth and neat and like nothing is showing. You don't want to see, you want to see like that. Like clean like that, clean cut. So we're halfway there on gluing down the material and stapling it. We're going to just finish up the little part on the top. And then we're going to move to um, using the, the needle and the thread soon. So, yeah guys. Oh, and you guys could see. Why as I'm doing it, I'm always pulling, I'm always pulling, and I'm not cutting until I'm finished stapling and gluing. You don't want to cut off your material because you're going to need it in order to pull it taut. Um, I'm cutting right now because the sides, it wasn't laying properly. Once you reach to the um, that curve shape and your sides are not fitting properly, that is when you go and you cut it. And you don't want to cut straight down because you don't want to cut too much off. You want to make sure just like cut it slowly so when you go and you pull it and you'll be like, okay, it's fitting. But if it's not fitting, if it's not laying properly, then you have to go back there and just snip, snip slowly. It's better to snip a little bit than to snip a lot because then you're not going to get it back. But yeah, I only cut off my tail ends after I already laid it down, staple it, and glue it. So I don't need the extra tail end no more. But you will need your tail end to help pull, to give it that nice tension, to have that nice smooth finish. You Because... You, you, you're going to regret it if you cut off the tail before then. Let's just say that.
yeah guys so now we're gonna use our needles remember we have two needles we're gonna use the soda top um, and the yarn yeah we use enough for thread and the DIY button the link is gonna be below yes so we're gonna start with from the back we're gonna push one needle through it now remember we're gonna push it through the middle part and then we're gonna push the second needle back through it this is the easiest way you can do this and get it done we're gonna tread the needle we're gonna push it back through why do we push it this way instead of, of the other way because we want that sink what's gonna be at the end of it and I'm gonna show you in a minute as soon as I get this needle through yeah so we're gonna pull it through and you're gonna use your soda top you're gonna go in out and then we're gonna go back through the cardboard this is what helps it from pushing um, all the way back through and then we're gonna pull it up <clears throat> we're gonna pull it up and then we're gonna tie it off at least three times and then cut it and we'll end up with something that looks a little like this right here what's gonna be happening what's up what's up what's up love it okay let's do it again we're gonna do it from the top do the same thing push it through with one needle and then when we see it poking up we're gonna take the next needle and push it back down through this is so beginners friendly guys uh, it's it's very easy the hardest part is just trying to push the needle through all those layers that that is it but um yeah we're gonna do that <clears throat> and do the same thing again with the in and out with the soda top and then we're gonna push it back through but we're gonna like always want to put it on a little slight angle we're going to put it in the same circle but not in the same hole if you understand what i'm saying because you don't want the hole to be too big but the soda top is helping it from busting back all the way through because we are using a cardboard i'm going to show you it one more time on a better um on a closer angle i guess and show you how i angle the needle on a certain you know i turn it so it won't end up in the same hole Yes, you see? I hope you can see this better. I'm just going to push it back through. <laughs> I'm trying to show you that I'm pushing it back through on that side. And then we're just going to um, keep on repeating the same steps and trying to just fill in all of the circles that we have. And then we're going to end up with something looking just like the blue one in the back there. Yeah, see how it's coming along, guys? And that is why you use the um, the little knot to start from the top part. Because then you get that nice sink in, that dimple look. And you just want to keep on pulling. You want to pull it taut. And then you want to tie it tight as you could. And this is um, me doing the last one. Because um, where we did the claw, my, my last hole had um, lost. So I had to do my measurements. And it was perfect. So yeah, yeah guys, so I'm just doing it on a different angle so you could see top and bottom at the same time. It's still doing the same thing in, out, and then we're going to pull back through, um, and then we're going to knot it at least three times, but when we pull back up, remember now you want to pull taut so you get that sink look in the middle you want to call it a dimple you can so you want to knot it off like three times tie it off like three times and then you can cut it okay here's the DIY buttons that we're going to use to um, put it on our bed head so we're going to use some hot glue and when I use it I always put it in the middle and I let it dry for a little second before I attach it to the bed head those same little yellow little buds you see there that's gonna make it um, where it's gonna attach even better see how nice and clean that came out yes so the trick is you want to let the glue dry for like a little second you don't want the glue to dry up just you want the glue to like cool down a little bit before you attach it so it's even gonna just attach even better and then I always hold my finger to it for like a second and then I just continue on sticking them on and after that um i just let it cool down and when you look it's gonna be dry before you know before like say an hour my all my buttons was like dry dry like you literally could have been just 
pulling on it like what you see right now see I'm pulling it and they're dry nice clean neat look that's what you want to get thank you guys for watching see you guys next time look at that room guys look at the headboards they're gonna be so excited